Indeed, Lord, we do not have a friend like you. You alone is the closest that we have. And we know you care about us in the downturns of this life, in the upturns of this life, in every corner that we take, you know us. And that is why you've gathered us here this morning, that we may be able to share in your word, that you may correct us, that you may guide us, that you may encourage us, that you may even challenge us, that we may be able to live in accordance to your will. We surrender unto you. Lord, may you speak. Your servants are listening. There is a humble prayer of faith and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. May we take our seats. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm delighted in the Lord to be able to stand in this sanctuary once again after a very long time. I, uh, I can also say that I've been well. I've been okay. The Lord has been good to me and he has been good to us even as we continue to serve. And we thank God because he has taken us all the way and brought us back. When I came, I just remembered 10 years ago when I got to know where Karatina is for the first time. I didn't even know the directions. And today I come back as a child of this church. You have made me who I am, the elders, the members, and I can never forget the role that you as a church those who are here in the year 2014, as you received me as a student to train amongst you, you always have a special place in my heart, a special place in my life, and even in my ministry. Nanazidi kuangalia na one of the familiar faces. Wenyambo tulikuwa tunafanya kazi na opo moja. And when I was invited for this day, by Reverend Wilson, I said, there is no way I can miss out on this one. And so coming back here, it is bringing me so many memories as this church was being constructed and even as it was being dedicated, the journey that I am today began in this place. You'll always be blessed because wherever I go, I always say I'm a child of Karatina Parish. And so now, Pasalamu. Zamali ambako na udumu kwa wakati wa sasa, nili, nilitoka hapa, nikeenda giakagena, nikeenda na kuru East Presbytery, Jerusalem, nikamaliza miakatano huko, nimetoko huko, sai niko Mugoga Presbytery, parokia inaitwa Kerwa. I think you can remember Kerwa Parish, it was, unfortunately we remember it with a very sad note because that is when we lost a minister and a spouse last year. That is where we are, but we are continuing to carry on with the spirit of their ministry and the work that they started. We are continuing to heal from the trauma that came from all that. But even above all, we are continuing to be thankful to God that he has called us to serve even at this time. Kwa hivo, salamu za kero parish, mkazipoke katika jina la Yesu Christo. I would like to go straight to the word because we have the second service. And so even as we think and even uh, look into the word that the Lord has given us today. Nimesema jina yangu? Okay, pole ni wageni. Unajua ni measium kila mtu ni mwenyeji. So for them that you have not met, I'm Elosi. Kathomi born again and I continue to thank God. And uh, the Women's Guild have given us a theme that is very good and very key at this time. A word that is calling upon us to reflect on our journey of faith. To reflect on our lives as Christians. And I would like to say this, that nowadays Christianity has become a kawaida thing. We have made Christianity to be so mechanical. Like we don't want to go deep. We don't want to cross that river, get to the shores put our feet in, walk until the river can flow to our necks and even bury us in. We have taken God, Jesus, our Savior, the one who called us like just any other deity. Tumemchukulia ni kama nakomba kuwa ndani ya Kristo. Ni kawaida tu na si lazima. We have forgotten where we have come from. We have forgotten who we are. We have lost our identity 
and we have tried to ape the things that are happening in this world. We have tried to open doors for things that are no longer Christianity and we have tried to do what Paul said we should not do. We have started to conform to the standards of this world. Something that lamentable, something that is so sad, something that should be aching our hearts and calling us back to order. When we watch the, the parliamentarians in parliament, every other time the speaker is always saying order, order members. Now it is the high time that we called ourselves as Christians back to order. It is the high time that we sought the ancient path. It is the high time we went back to the crossroads and asked for once, where is the ancient path? Wapi ile njia ambayo ni kuu tukaifuate, tukaitembele na tukaeze kumtafuta mungu maadam anapopatikana. When the grace is still sufficient, when we can still be able to say, yes, our God is merciful because a time is coming when we will say, we wish that the hills can fall upon us. And that is why in the theme that the Women's Guild has given us, the Lord is calling upon us to go back into seeking his kingdom and his righteousness. Why? Because of course we have chosen every other path to tread into. Because we have chosen other paths that we can be able to seek pleasure in. We have dug our own cisterns to mejichimbia visima vietu wenyewe. And it has become a norm to come to church, to just sit and listen, but we are getting nothing. Hello? Imekua ni kawaida kuja kanisani. Tunaka, tunaimba, tunachangamka, but when you ask somebody, why did you go to church today? What did you gain in church today? Um, Praise him leo pengine walikuwa wajaomba asubuhi mwenye alikuwa anatangaza ni kama maika iko inasikika sijui hata mama mwenye alikuwa amekaa mbele yangu leo sijui kama hakupiga nguo pasi Those are the kind of things that we notice those are the kind of things that we see and yet we have come to this church that we may be renewed that we may be regenerated that we may be able to come back and humble ourselves before God and tell God, indeed, I am a sinner and I need forgiveness. Many other times when we go to church and we do not have a goal or a motive. Maybe kuna mtu wamekuja kanisa leo and coming because it is a woman's guild Sunday to support my mom because it is a woman's guild. Na kuja kulipa deni ya shosho. Kwa sababu elisema, as long as you are in my lineage, you must support the woman's guild. But is that faith of your grandmother, is that faith of your mother going to save your soul? Where are you? Who are you serving? Where are you going? And when I was looking at their program for this year, the motto that they have captured my attention, the motto that they have written in the program, and it says, whom I am is whom I serve. Whom I am is whom I serve. That got me thinking. In my thinking is that the people who came up with that motto, they had the idea that we all are in Christ Jesus. Sisi sote tuko ndani ya nani? Ya Kristo. Na kwa hivyo wakisema Yeye mimi ndiye ndiye ambaye nitatumikia walikuwa wanaangalia wa Kristo watu ambao wanamjua Yesu na kwa hivyo walikuwa wanatumai ya kwamba everybody that is in this congregation in this Karatina church today is going to serve God our GA theme the 24th GA theme is calling upon us to serve you and I choose today whom you're going to serve. And so when they were thinking about that motto, they said, yes, we are going to serve God. But let me ask you, do you know that we may all not be saved in this congregation? 
Unajua ya kwamba si kila mtu ambaye ameokoka vile ambavyo tumeketi siku ya leo. And so when you look at me and say whom you whom you are is the one you serve. I may be some be serving something different. I told myself in this motto we need to really think who am I? Mimi ni nani? So that I can serve the one that I am. There is this musician and she was once a counselor. Alikuwa anaitwa Monica Wamoga. She would come often in Kameme FM Kitambo. And there is this song ambaye alimba kasema Tondo tinie doraga deso are they ne wakwa nema nema tinie doraga Jesu are they ne wakwa she was very confident in those words and even as Paul was talking about them he was very confident that it is no longer i that live but Christ lives in me if you read in the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 16 it talks about the one that we serve and he says that it says very well that don't you know that the person to whom you commit yourself and surrender is the person that you become a slave to the one that you commit yourself to serve you become a slave to that person and so when this theme is telling us to seek the kingdom of uh, the, the kingdom of god and its righteousness it is because god from above is looking at us and saying my people have forsaken me and my glory is about to leave the temple how many times have you failed to come to church just because it was raining in the morning last sunday ukuje upige magoti mbele ya mwenyezi Mungu Mungu tunaomba mvua god we pray for rains that you may give and then our god who is so faithful saa sita ya usiku mvua inaanza kumwagika mpaka asubuhi unatoka nje unachungulia uko na miavuli tatu uko nyumba uko mpaka na gumboots uko mpaka na boots zenye tunavaanga ladies and men you can still tuck in your trouser in the gumboots na ukuje kwa kanisa lakini kwa sababu kuna nyesha mwana ni digoka kanitha god nitaomba online god i don't need the fellowship and you are the one who prayed for the rains bona sifiwe god i'm not going to go to church because my wife just delivered our first born so i'm not going to church i'm going to buy some clothes for the baby who prayed for the baby you've forgotten the days and the times that you are praying for your wife to have a safe delivery but you can't even go to church to tell god thank you that my wife and child are alive and they are strong and they are healthy Thank you because you've given me this. God I'm not going to go to church because saa hii boss ameniita kazini. God I'm not going to come to and you've forgotten the days that you are crying that God may remember you and give you a job. But you have become a slave to that job. The person that you choose to serve, the thing that you commit and surrender to you become a slave to that thing and to that person who are you serving what is your kingdom today and which is the kingdom that you are following kwa sababu sisi sote siku hizi tumejiamulia kwamba tutakuwa na this will be my king this will be my kingdom but in many in many instances it is about me myself and i i am the king i am the servant and i am the kingdom i am the ruler of this kingdom what will happen when all that is gone don't you know god can make you serve him in whichever circumstance in at, and for whatever cost that he so desires Why is it that the Lord is calling upon us today to seek 
his kingdom. If you read the book of Matthew and in the, in the gospels, the four gospels, they all speak differently because Matthew focuses on Jesus as the king. That is the gospel that he speaks about. It's all about the king and the kingdom business. That is Matthew. When you look at the book of Mark, it is talking about Jesus as the son of God and God's anointed servant. That is the main theme. And that is how Jesus is being portrayed in the book of Mark. If you go into the book of Luke, he looks at Jesus' humanity, the humanity of Jesus and the savior of mankind. When you look at John, John chose to look at Jesus as that deity, that son of God who became human, but he is still divine. He was looking at Jesus, the full man, and Jesus, the full God. And so when we come back to, Mark, to Matthew, and even look at the text that we have been given, you will realize that when Jesus was talking, it was just at the early days of his ministry. And when he gave the sermon on the mount, because that is where the text was coming from. If you read chapter 5, from where we start with the Beatitudes, chapter 6, and finish up all the way in chapter 7. It is called the sermon on the mount. And that is why where we are getting our theme, the Matthew 6 and 33, that is talking about God's kingdom and his righteousness. When you read about that text, and I would like you to read from around verse 19 of chapter 6, you realize that Jesus is first telling the people, you are just being too worried for nothing. Okay. And the heading ya watoto unaanza Kuna mlevi, kuna moja alipotea sijuia kwa api, kuna mwingine sina school fees, kuna mwingine amenitukana asubui, kuna mwingine ananitisha inheritance, kuna mwingine ameoa msichana mwenye siku anataka, kuna mwingine angaliwa watoto wake, kuna mwingine hata sura si kama yangu, kuna That is under one heading ya mashida zenye unahesabu. Akisha malizana na watoto mwenye yako na spouse na yeye anaandika hapo. Oh Hui hata nikimpata nilikuwa nimefunga macho, sijui alirefuka akanipita, sijui hata sijui analalanga kama amefungua macho usiku, sijui anatembeanga usiku kama ghost. Hiyo ni subheading yangapi? Akienda kwa kazi, yani ukiangalia we are complaining about everything and thanking God about nothing. But does it mean those children are evil? Does it mean you don't love those children? Does it mean how kushukuru kuitwa baba ama mama? Does it mean you would not cry if that spouse was taken away from you? Does it mean you would not even feel it if that job that you're complaining about at your sisi walimu tulifungiwa kuandamana atuimbangi sijui bando mapambano siku hizi kwa sababu tuna marking scheme ya benchmark sijui na <laughs> na CBC <laughs> Bona sifiwe We look at our nation and we are just complain Oh taxes Na sisi ndiyo tunafurahia kwamba hii barabara imefika hapa inatengenezwa Kwani imejengwa na nini You know si uangalie ile kitu mzuri at least kuna mahali pengine unaondoka wale ambao tunafanya kwa soko Have we forgotten the days tulikuwa tunaenda kwa hii soko ya pande hii Wakati ambapo uliku unaenda kukinyesha lazima uende soko na gambut. Unaenda kuchagua na nyanya unashindwa. Hii nyanya uko kweli nitapikia watu. Na mmesahau saa hii mnapanda gorofa. Bwana sifiwe. <laughs> Can't you find something to thank God for? Kelele ni za nini? Jesus was telling them you worry yourself too much. And even in your worries, there is no way you're going to change a single hair in your head to either turn black or gray. Unasumbuka utavaa nini? Unasumbuka utakula nini? Let me ask you. 
Who said Madam, ile dela yako ya blue haingekuja church leo? Nani alisema ukikuja na dela tutakucheka? Bwana sifiwe. Nani alisema ukikuja na Crocs my brother? Tutasema huku kuja na viatu za white. Is it <laughs> Is it anybody Nini wewe inatuzumbua by the way? You know tunajiekelea mashida badala ya ku focus on seeking the righteousness of God instead of us taking care of our souls we are being concerned and worried na BP kupanda sababu ya hii mwili ambayo ikizikwa within 72 hours imeoza and we are not taking care of our souls we don't are, you, are we really christians how comes other religions they are so committed to serving their god they fear their god so much but us we who have a christ a savior who died on the cross that i may be able to stand here and say nimelipiwa deni nimelipiwa gharama there is a time tukiwa shule tulienda kwa a sick temple no the sick is in sick kwa hospitali karadhinga ndivyo tunawaitanga wale ambao wanafunganga wanakuanga na devu imeshikiwa hapa na kamba eh eh hey. we went there they are very monotheistic how si wa confused na hindus no hindus they how oh, anybody even you you can be a god for them depending with the miracles that you you do sindio but for the sick they are very monotheistic and when we went there the, the young man he was a university student who was guiding us and taking us through what they do in their religion and what they believe in he challenged us on this one thing that you christians you talk of a god who loves you so much that he gave his only son who took up the human flesh became a human being died for you on the cross yet you don't believe in him yet you don't act as if all that happened akatuambia wow they believe in god they believe in a deity and then they believe in the incarnation of that deity kwa hivyo wako na biblia yao sikumbukangi jinde ilikuwa refu sana sijui but by what ilikuwa ni refu lakini ni biblia ambayo inarapiwa na bed sheet ya white imetengenezewa bedroom iko na king size bed mattress ya white na blanket na dufe za white na iko na fan naongea kuhusu biblia na sisemi kitu yenye nilisikia nasema kitu yenye niliona na hii macho inabebwa kwa kichwa na mtu ambaye amefunga taba ni ya white na juu ya hiyo taba na meekelea sheet nyingine ya white na kijaribu ategwe na kitu anguke ni ya anguke lakini ashikilia biblia and then hapa kando kuna mtu anashinda hapo na fly whisk akifukuza imaginary flies that may come to contaminate the incarnated word but us us that we go straight to God and talk to him that he has given us the power to cry abba father the god who calls us by our names who has told us be holy because i am holy lakini tunakuwa ya kwamba tutaokoka hii wiki kwa sababu ni ya women's guild alafu tukutane na nyinyi kwa soko kesho ama ukutane na mama akishout na anashautia mtoto unashindwa huyo mama ni ye mwenye huyu mtoto na si jana alikuwa na kitambaya guild kwani what happened it's like we may serve the head scarf and become a slave to the head scarf but refuse the message of that head scarf to transform our hearts and our minds Tunataka nguvu za msalaba tunataka tuitanishwe na msalaba 
lakini tunakataa nguvu ambazo ziko katika ile damu iliyomwagika kwa msalaba na jina ambalo limeitanishwa na huo msalaba we change every minute that if somebody comes here with something better we are going to live the christianity we are going to live the righteousness and go wacha niulize ni wangapi ambao ukienda uingia kwa matatu conductor asahau kukuitisha fare atarudi kwa stage kutafuta huyo conductor ampatie hiyo pesa wangapi mbele za bwana tunasemanga wameibia wengi wewe ndo ulikuwa umeibiwa and you forget that huyu conductor haki ya nani atakatwa hizo pesa kwa hiyo siku na mtoto wake atakosa maziwa lakini unasema nini ah ameibia wengi kwanza huku sikia vile alikuwa naongea ni Mungu amefanya hey. na tunaingiza Mungu hapo ndani <laughs> Mungu amefanya nini wewe ndo ulikuwa unajaribiwa God was testing you not the conductor irrespective kama amevaa matambara irrespective kama hakuoga uso asubuhi irrespective kama mdomo yake ni ile eh yeah? si unajua saa zingine vile wanatuongeleshanga haijalishi but do the right thing because you are supposed to be as righteous as the king of the kingdom of heaven why can't we do the right thing why kwa nini ikifika kupiga kelele sisi wa Kristo ndio wa kwanza? Sisi ndio wa kwanza like now the trend that is happening in the social media. Kama ni kuchafua ukristiano, sisi wa Kristo ndio tunaichafua zaidi. Kama ni kupiga kelele kuhusu PCA, eh? sisi ndio tunapiga kelele zaidi. Can't you even find something? Si ukumbuke hata we mwenyewe ulibatiziwa hapa. Si ukumbuke unakujanga hapa ku worship kila siku. Can't you just find something small that you can be grateful for? That hata unalishwa kiroho wakati ambapo unakuja mahali hapa. How many times have we sought our own pleasures at the expense of seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness? Ni mara ngapi? How many times have we said if so and so is leading the service wacha nitoke niende kwa nyumba if so and so is the one who is preaching wacha tu nilale kama fulani ni yeye anakuja sijui kama fulani ni yeye amechaguliwa kasijui kama fulani i would rather not what are you telling us that you're incapable of allowing the love of christ to penetrate in your heart to change you to the extent that you can be able to forgive a fellow christian this text as we seek the kingdom of god it is calling upon each one of us to do a self reflection and ask yourself who am i that i may be able to serve the person that i am who am i back to the motto whom i am is whom i serve whom do you serve today Jirudie mwenyewe. Nani ambaye anatawala ndani yako? Who is the one who is the king in your life? What is that one thing that you cannot do for the kingdom of heaven? Because as long as there is one thing that you cannot do for the kingdom, then you're not fit to be in the kingdom. Bwana sifiwe. The kingdom business is all about surrender. It's all about being a subject to the king. It is all about being a servant in that kingdom. Surrendering your life for the king and doing everything that pertains to the kingdom. There is this Kikuyu song kwa wale ambao waelewi Kikuyu mtanisamehe. Doki ile gwako kenyo ni amehaka. Ore otoragia nyumba inegwaku 
na oge shoka oke nyonia wado ole otora gya nyumba inegwa ku negwa ndika konyita ka oru tondo igire mweki oru wode when you got born again when you gave yourself and surrender to this kingdom god gave you the boundaries of his kingdom he showed you you will never go beyond this place you will never step out of that gate you will never speak to this one you will never go here you will never do this these are the four corners of this kingdom these are the doors these are the windows this is the perimeter wall bona sifiwe and then in addition to that he said these are the rules that they are only 10 they are not even many just 10 of them and the first one being you shall never worship another god why have we created other gods for ourselves bona tumejitengenezea miungu mingine Why have we gone to seek other gods elsewhere? Leaving the God who said as long as I live and as long as you belong to me you have to understand this. I am very jealous. I am full of jealousy. You will never share me with anybody else. It's either me, myself and I. Unifuate twende tukiendanga mpaka umalize hii safari ukuje kwenye na kuandalia but look at us look at us we have lost the commitment to christian servitude we have lost the zeal with which to fight for this kingdom we have just agreed to just sit But we need to remember that as long as we are seated the hunger is around. Remo ikarete the ngaragwe ke ngaragune nene. Because there is hunger for that word of God. How many have you spoken to? Because this week at least we knew or maybe we knew it is the guild we can maybe we had the theme and we knew what it was all about how many have you told that i need to seek the righteousness of god and to seek his kingdom the kingdom that we are living in and the kingdom that we are being told about is one that can only believed in by anybody who is righteous yes the book of romans says very well that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of god sisi sote ni watenda dhambi demu yiona wanyona all of us there is no one not one who can stand before god and say i am holy but then jesus said As he was going up as he was ascending to the father I will give you a helper reason being he knew we can never be able to continue with the journey of faith and be able to stand and withstand the wiles of the enemy if we do not have a helper on our own we cannot make it peke yetu atuwezi but when we believed confessed and we were baptized we received the holy spirit peter said in the great sermon of acts chapter 2 in the pentecost that you just need to believe repent your sins be baptized and you will receive the power of the holy spirit have you repented have you really believed do you really believe in jesus christ do you kuna kujua ya kwamba Yesu yuko kuna kujua ya kwamba kuna Mungu kuna kujua ya kwamba kuna roho mtakatifu kuna jua ya kwamba kuna kujua ya kwamba kuna hili neno ambalo tumepewa this incarnated word there is about knowing about the hymns and the, the prayers and everything but 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you really believe in God? Is your faith so unshakable? Because in, in Psalms, the Psalms that we read, Psalms chapter 11, it is asking very well, when the foundations are shaken, what are the righteous going to do? When the foundations of your faith are shaken, when death appears and you lose a loved one, when sicknesses abound and you are in so much pain, when you have been rejected and you are alone, when the family setting is broken and you are left alone, when the business is crumbled, when you are betrayed by the ones that you loved so much, when your faith is tested, do you believe enough to stand? Do you believe God enough to continue calling upon him, to continue crying to him, to continue saying, Abba, Father, even in the midst of all these, I still believe. When the foundations are shaken, what do you do? Kuna wale ambao wamekimbilia kwa waganga. Kuna wale ambao wameenda kwa ile miungu ya mababu zetu. And it is good that we acknowledge that in, in this era that we are living in, there are so many options. And Joshua told the children of Israel, choose today the God that you're going to serve. Whether it is the God of our forefathers as you served beyond the river Euphrates, the God of the Canaanites where you're living today, or the living God. Choose. One thing that I liked when the GA theme was being expounded was to know that our God doesn't force anyone. And he allows you to choose from all the options. But if you don't choose him, don't call upon him to help you. Bwana sifiwe? Kama haumchagui, usiende ukimlilia wakati mashida zimeku zimekuja. Lakini ukimchagua pia kubali kufuatana na matakwa yake. Kubali kuandamana na yeye katika kila hali na katika kila wakati. You have the option. You have the choice. Choose today the God that you are going to serve. Choose the kingdom that you want to live in. Choose the king you want to reign in your life. This life is very short, by the way. Maisha ni fupi. We do not know about tomorrow. We do not know about the next minute. The only assurance that we can have is that if we continue in the Lord, we will see him and he will hold us by his hands. One thing we can be assured of is that he will never leave us nor abandon us. Righteousness is all about the way you act the way you live and whether your behavior is justifiable and right. Righteousness is living right. Is living Christianity. Living as per what Jesus taught. Following him and him alone. Choosing him irrespective of what is going to happen. If God took away everything that you value so much, would you still serve him? Ask yourself, that which you value so much, ito ambacho ni chamaana sana katika maisha yako. Maybe the home that you have, maybe the family that you have, maybe the job, Maybe the business. If you were in my Mahio a few weeks ago and everything was taken away from you, would you still serve God? The woman who lost 
her daughters and grandchildren. If it were you, would you still serve God? If your home was flattened by floods that came from the rain, the rain that was given by God, would you still serve that God? Ama utamuita mungu wa uaribifo. Would you still serve him? Would you still want to remain in the kingdom? Would you say like Job, I came naked and naked I shall return? Can we attain true righteousness? Yes. If we live in accordance to the will of God, if we pursue purity, if we pursue right thinking, behaving right, giving justice to everyone, if we take care of the poor, the orphans, the widows, the destitute, the sick, if we share what we have with others knowing that hakuna kitu tutabeba kwa kaburi, if we don't forget about prayer, fellowship, if we don't forget about maintaining the ministry and having the gospel reach everyone, if we, don't take, if we don't forget taking care of ourselves and others and believing in God, yes, we can attain righteousness. But many other times, we are not able to serve others because we are not even serving ourselves and taking care of ourselves. We have nothing to give. We have nothing to pour out to others. Hatuna kitu ya kujazilia wengine. And that is why we are so empty and feeling so helpless. It has gotten to a point whereby Christians are the majority that are committing suicide in this country. How comes we have lost hope? How comes we cannot hold even to a single thread of hope in God as a Christian? Why? It is because we left that old path. We stopped believing in the old ragged cross. We stopped seeking the face of God. My brothers and sisters, it is the high time that we ask ourselves, what do we believe in? Why are we here this morning? It is the high time you ask yourself, what are your priorities? What do you value the most? Your work, which can die in a flash of a second? Your family members, who can turn against you in a minute? Your friends, who can betray you like Judas did to Jesus? What is your priority in this life? Because kama priority yako si kumtafuta mwenyezi mungu, then you're headed to damnation. Today, as we think about this word, let us know that our God is so merciful that he wants us to reevaluate the relationship we have with him. Usifurai kuitanishwa na kanisa bila kueneza neno la Mwenyezi Mungu. Usifurahie ya kwamba wewe ni memba wa PCA Karatina Church yet spiritually you're not growing and you're not gaining anything. Usifurai kusema leo itinerary yangu kutoka asubuhi ilikuwa nilianzia na kwenda kanisa but ukiulizwa ni nini ambayo umepata kwa hiyo service kwa hiyo ibada there is nothing that you can show for it. I want to challenge you the woman's guilt. That if in the last two years you have only buried more people than you have brought into this group, you need to rethink. If our patron, Nambaya Likwa Eldawangu, 
wakati nilikuwa huku kwa district ya Mudhua if this group that you're shepherding in the next five years there will be only two girls in the women's guild it means there is no future for the group how comes we cannot convince our daughters to join the women's guild how comes maybe they don't feel like they can be beautiful having a blue scarf on their head is it about the kitamba or it is about the values that we have as the members pengine wanatuangalia wanasema akorwa giro dineno avaeke atia ask yourself as you're seeking the kingdom of god and its righteousness how many are you bringing into the kingdom what are the qualities that you have that others may look at and wish they can be like you how many young people are looking at you at the age of 60 50 70 and they say when i grow up i want to be like so and so is there anybody who is looking up to you ama pengine hata kwako wanatamani they grow up wapate id watoroke wa kuondoke kwa sababu kila wakati hakuna kitu kizuri unaona ndani yao preaching si kutengeneza crusade pale na kuambia wengine kama hatujajiambia sisi wenyewe Christianity is about me living that Christianity and others seeing the goodness of Christ in me and wishing and longing to follow Christ. The kingdom of heaven Jesus said thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth. The kingdom is here with us. It is not about the future one. It is about the kingdom that we create here on earth. Lakini kama sisi sote hatuwezi tukapata kile ambacho tunaweza tukafuata. Then we need to rethink. Brothers and sisters, as I have said, the theme today is calling upon each one of us to prioritize seeking God. Kumtafuta, kumjua, kumpenda, kumuelewa, kumuamini. Prioritizing God and everything that he is calling us to do prioritizing our souls as opposed to prioritizing our bodies and the flesh because we have chosen to glorify the flesh so much at the expense of our souls it is about doing what is right in the presence of god it is about thinking before we speak or even act or even react how you speak how you think how you react how you behave it shows whom you are serving and who you are and who is reigning in your life before you do anything ask yourself will this be pleasing to god before anything make a prayer like david the prayer that he made in psalms 1914 let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight in tonight that the words of my mouth god the meditation of my heart my thoughts my deeds my words god let them be acceptable before you Tell God search my heart on this day and if there is anything bad and evil in me remove it. Bwana sifiwe. It is not about them. It is about me living like Christ. And so the question is what are the changes that you're going to make today to be more Christ like? What are the things that you need to pray to God to give you the power to leave behind? Ni mangapi ambayo unatamani kuacha siku ya leo? Ni mangapi ambayo unatamani yakue kando ili ukajidhihirisha kama Kristo? 
When you think about the way you think, the way you speak, the way you act, are you righteous? Are we going to prioritize seeking the kingdom of God first and everything else that is in him? Are we going to say from today on forth, I'm going to think more about the fellowships, more about the ministry, more about service, more about showing how Christ is more than anything else. Are we going to choose God? I would like us to think about this psalm, about this song, about this hymn, 738. Just to remind ourselves as we finish that we are not worth of the grace of God, but he has loved us just the way we are. And we just need to tell him, help me to change. Help me to prioritize your righteousness. Help me to be righteous before you. I repent of my sins. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died it for me who caused his pain for me who him to death was you I'm his love how can it be that thou my God should die for me that thou my God mm -mm -mm -mm, that thou my God should die for Nothing that we did that Christ gave us his own righteousness. Tunasimamishwa na utakatifu wa Christo. One to you if you cannot follow that righteousness. Evaluate yourself and ask yourself, am I really righteous before God? 
Am I really born again? Can I be called a believer? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we surrender unto you this morning. We confess every sin that we have committed against you. For against you and you alone have we sinned. And God, we pray that you may have mercy upon us. We have lost the direction. We have lost the path. We have lost the way. We have sought to dig our own cisterns and left the one that you dug for us. We have forgotten the rock from which we were hewn and which we were dug. Father, how we pray that you may bring us back to yourself. May your spirit guide us. May your spirit lead us as we seek the righteousness of your kingdom. As we seek to change our ways and serve you. As we choose you as the God that we want to serve. I pray for us all. I pray for myself. I pray for these brethren, brothers and sisters. I pray that God, you may help us. We cannot do it on our own. We cannot make it on our own. We surrender unto you and to your spirit. That you may lead us and guide us. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. May God bless you as we continue to meditate. Thank you, Reverend Elsie, for that wonderful sermon. We'll go to the offering. I kindly welcome Elder Rea to hand over the baskets. Offering deacons. to come and hold the baskets for us so that you may give your support quickly. Makabuga, I see you there. Come quickly, please. Two of you. Yes, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, in the interest of time, Kindly let us follow this system. Uh, may I have two guild members here? So that we can have the members, uh, you come and give us what you brought for us, except the guild members, and except if you are a, our guest. If you have a card, kindly do not come now. And let's move fast. So I'm requesting this side to go where Madame is. The other side, 
Maybe Anne, you can go over there so that we move very quickly. Thank you. Kindly brought us, bring us what you brought us, members, all the members, including the elders. Members, we are waiting on you. I know you have something for us. Kindly bring it now. It's your time. a guest. I can see Mr. Mwangi. Kindly bring back your card. Mr. Mwangi Sharago. Yes, you are our guest. I wonder whether there is another person who had the card. It's your time. You can bring the card now. Anne, can you contribute this one? Check how much it is. So Mr. Mwangi has brought us 4,000. Can we give him CBC clap, Nimoja 2, 1. Let's go again, 1. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes, I can see Mr. Maina coming up. He's also a guest. Thank you very much for honoring. So, thank you so much. Okay, he's brought back his card. 5,000 CBC Club. Moja, thank you so much. And we have Mary Wairimo Meroni. 3,000, a clap. Thank you. Somebody else with a card coming up. Thank you so much. A clap for her as she comes. Thank you. And Sarah, 10,000 shillings, a good clap. Let's give her a good clap. Thank you so much. I see Mr. Nyamo coming. Welcome. Let's give him a clap as he comes. Thank you so much. Yeah, on behalf of Regina Nyamo, 4,000. Give her a clap in her absentia. Anybody else? who wishes to return the card. Uh, Marima, are you coming here? Oh, no. Okay. So may we have the guild members who will not be in during the second service. Guild members. And can we have an extra kiondo for them? Guild members who will not be in. Kindly, let's move fast. Due to time. Those who will not be in during the Kikuyu service or the second service. Tabitha Geshoke, 5,000, a clap. Elizabeth Mutegi. 11,000. Mary Morage, 4,000. Grace Wero. 4,000, I assume the other members will be in during the Kikuyu service. You're also most welcome. You may join us during the Kikuyu service. Thank you very much. 
tusimame tusimame walio na taith tafadhali njoni those who have taith come forward so that uh, reverend may pray for us so the offerings and the taith too pray for the offerings and the tithes. Our Father and our God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for your goodness and mercy. We want to worship you, Jehovah Father, even as we offer unto you that which you've blessed us with. As we bring our tithes and offerings unto you, Jehovah Father, it is a sign of worship and a sign of thanksgiving unto you. For you have said that we bring all the tithes into your house, O God, that, they, that the work that you have intended them to do, it can be done, Jehovah Father. We want to pray for these tithers, O dear Lord, on this day, that even as they, call, uh, as they uh, accept to be faithful with their tithes, Jehovah Father, and even wake up to the call that, Jehovah Father, you have called them unto, dear Lord, you're going to bless them and you're going to walk with them. How we pray that you may bless what they are holding, Jehovah Lord, for it is part of what you have guided them them to give Jehovah King of all glory. We pray that you may bless them, Jehovah Lord, in their minds, in their, in their bodies, and in their hearts, O oh dear Lord, and even spiritually that they may know you better and even grow more in you, Jehovah King of all glory. May you bless their places of work. May you bless their businesses. May you bless their families, Jehovah Father, and that prayer which each one of you has made before you, Jehovah King of all glory, as they stand here. May you hear them, Jehovah Lord, in accordance to your will. And in due time and at the right time, Jehovah Father, you will give them an to them that which you have promised, O oh God. I pray for them, and I pray that the Hover Father you will remove every hindrance in their lives, O oh God, and every stumbling block that they may continue to grow and soar high. And as they do so, Jehovah Father, as you uplift them from one glory to the other, they are going to know you more and more to the glory and honor of your holy name. Thank you for these offerings, O oh God. Thank you because of the thanksgiving offerings. Thank you, Jehovah, for the love offerings. Thank you for what has been given into the ministry of the Women's Guild. And thank you, Jehovah, even for the first fruits, Jehovah, King of all glory. We pray that you may bless them all, dear Father. Father, and we pray as we continue to seek your, your righteousness, O oh God, you shall enable us to continue to serve with you what you have given unto us. We pray for these monies, Jehovah. May you cleanse them and sanctify them by, the, by your word, that whatever work they are going to do, Jehovah, Father, you shall bless it to the glory and honor of your holy name. Tunanena baraka kwa hawa mfalme, tukisema ya kwamba ni wabarikiwa na kuna wakualani. Hili niombi katika Kristo Yesu aliebwana na mokozi wetu. Amen. May God bless you and continue to do your good. Amen. Sabona <laughs> sifiwe. Tunataka kukumalizia ibada hii ya kwanza. Kwa hivyo tutasimama that we may be able to receive the benediction that we can receive the hymn. Almighty and everlasting Father, we want to thank you once again. You're never tired of us calling upon you, Jehovah God. We want to thank you for every person who came for this service. From the persons who are leading Jehovah King of all glory, even to the members who are attended. Where we have served Jehovah Lord Almighty, we pray that for every good thing that we have done in this service, you may bless it for us. And anything that we may be, have done uh, not right before you, Jehovah Father, in terms of our thinking, our thoughts, Jehovah Lord, and even our words and our deeds, anything that is not uh, good before you, Lord, may you forgive us and remove it from our lives. We want to surrender ourselves unto you, that even as we go out, we shall seek the righteousness of your kingdom and seek to follow you and even to know you more. I speak out of blessing upon these, your people, Jehovah Father, brothers and sisters, and even our children, and even as I, 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 our young people. As we go out, may we go out to serve you and even to know you more. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the peace that surpasses all human understanding be with you now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. We have come to the end of our service. I, who was programming, I'm Karen Mwangi. I love the Lord as my personal savior. Our recession hymn is new, 340, old, 312. Guide me, O thy great Jehovah. Guide me, O thy great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren.
Praise God. Nero si nero geruega. Mwadhania tu he kanya. Nigeza tu kethi ni wanyo bayake. Na nigeza tu celebrate this Guild Sunday. Tukwa bireli ya gedo mogi ito. Na kuina rweboro wa namba. 183 jero. 183 jero. Na guru na bainyanya. Na programu ine. Tue rweboro uloreho. When o e moderu kai morungu ito roshi ne tene ne togo koi ne ra.
ni tondu wa wega rosi ni roro rwa umuthi ni wega mwathani ni tondu ti theru no ikaranitie na ithwe wiki yo yothe ngai na wacoka watugomania thini wa nyumba no yaku theru rita ringi mwathani twabararia ritwa riaku twagutia twaguku tukwenda kunyihanya rireini cia ku twari yaku tugigukumia ona tukiuburate we ni wega i mwene hinya wothe tukiuburate ithwe turi yaku ithe bitu wa iguru ona tukiuburate we ni we mwene unene we ni we mutheru mwathani riri wothe ni waku ngai witu wa iguru na riu mwathani witu tukwenda kunyiha tu onyarireini ciaku tukehera mehia na mahitia maitu mwathani mara tungikorwa tukwihitie ithe bitu wa iguru ona mangigiria ututirere githithi gya ku mwathani ona mara mangigiria mwathani witu wa mukire igogona riria tukuruta ngai turaguthai thati witikire gutuohera na gututheria na thakame ya murugu wa Jesu Kristo tugithie na mbere na service mwathani we invite your presence our dear heavenly father be with us lord maudu mothe mara tugwika thini wa kigogona giki gya ku githeru mwathani ya na wetikire ya hamwe na ithwi ni twa ya na ni twa gutia ni kuri mari magi wa mwathani twa kuhoya ati wetikire kuhiuhia nyarire ciao ngai nigetha turathimo turi hamwe ni kuri mate kuhota guka na no aitu mwathani twa guthaitha ngai witu wa iguru wetikire kumakinyiria wega na utugi wa ku mwathani okuria megukoro mari mwathani kiabaniriria na ithwi twika kiabiriria ona kirikiro twerekereria moko ini maku Fikia tena watu igua, ole tu aini ya Jesu Kristo mwadani na muhonokia goroshi tu. Amen. Praise and worship, praise and worship. Kani dani idaria kuda dai ya gai, doge tiki ramu doge akoho ere, dito doge rahi rani obaya gai, nige domo mani dima fataro maku, kogo tuki muda dai ya, mani dio rio kueda, dito doge igua kama hoya na gashoki. Hallelujah. Ne gueda kora di mone we Ne gueda kora di mone Kai wa kwa ne gueda kora di mone we Koro ya kwa eka Nenda toi na ne gueda kora di mone
This is where we are gathered in this altar this morning, O oh God. Reign and glorify yourself in our midst, O oh God. We submit to you, O oh God. We surrender to your will, our Father. We surrender to your purpose, O oh God. Have your way, Holy Spirit of the living God. Intervene in this service this morning. We surrender, O oh God. We honor your name, O oh God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Jehovah, 
etekera kuharaneria na ithwe muthamaki mwene inyagai tugagotea jehova ono githie na mbere na gututheria na ngaitha witu gitweka gutuhuthira muthenya uyu wa umuthi jehova ngai mwega nitukite bereini ya ku jehova twino horo cio agucokia gatho wa muthingu nitondu wa mawiko mari otwekeire mwathani gutuhyo gima wa mwiri na igururia maundu mothe ugatuhe kanya ona gaguka thaini wa nyumba no itanetio nawe ngai ni ngenda tukia na idari ya gukugosha na kuo Jehova ngai mwega tukamanya ni aingi mahotire kwa tedi services ya last sunday but muthenya wa umuthi matire moyo inyo Jehova angine marwarite ange makagomana na mitino etiganite Jehova ngai no Jehova ngai ndo tukamenya ithweti ithwagiriru komakira ona tiweka twekita wega komakira ngai kweta tha ciaku muthamaki mwene hinya ngai na nikyo tukire na nigetha tugucokerie gado ne todo wa mai koma kuma magegania maria wekeire omwa washito jehova gai wakire kanero to ushokeria gado ne uri okoretwa riu magarero ona ihodokira ngai ugatuhegia kuria ona gia kunywa mwathani ugatuhe ngima wa mwere jehova gai wakire kanero irathimo ne nyige irio turathimete nacio ona rutinge hota gucitara fafa kenda ushokia gado ne todo wa muthenya wa umuthi tura observe umas gio jehova god Thank you ni odwa muherega oyo wa Sara mwathani ni wega ngai ni tondu wa tobira tori andu amagegania ngai ugitohe Jehova ngai tha witu responsibility nyinge Jehova ngai wakire kanero ngai tha witu tugagucho 